Can you uh, start from the beginning, please? Uh, so, last night, um, I got Horizon Zero Dawn. You know, at 9 p.m., uh, my boy, you know, he let me know GameStop was giving it out a little early. Uh, the thing is, I wasn't expecting, like, much from this game. Just, like, a fun, open-world game, you know? Not, nothing special. Like, I wasn't really that... You know, excited for it. I mean, I was, okay, you know, but I, I really wasn't, like, watching any trailers or anything like that, or, 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 like, you know, trying to get information about the game. I really just wasn't paying attention to it, you know? But you see, I'm, uh, I'm what they call a Sony stand, okay? Or Sony Pony, also, what they like to call it. So, regardless, I was gonna get this game because. I heard my dude, Zob, he keeps smack talking us, you know, I'm tired of it, you know, I'm tired of it. So what happened once you played it? Well, you know, it started out by just, just immediately, as soon as I popped it in, immediately looking really, really, really good, bro. It looked so good. And then Aloy came in when she was young and she just had this, <laughs> You go ahead, like, I don't know what they were thinking when they made her a child because her head was just so disproportionate to her body, you feel me? So that was kind of weird, but I still liked the game as I was playing it, you know? And then what? As soon as, soon as the fighting and the hunting started, it happened, bro. What happened? It happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. Please. You need to talk to us. This is the only way we can help. Now answer me. What happened when the fighting and hunting started? Or I couldn't stop playing. I couldn't stop playing. <laughs> My God. <sighs> Everywhere I went, Horizon Zero Dawn. Look at this. <clears throat> they gave it to me for pre-ordering the game. It has a back side as well. It's pretty cool. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Hopefully you can see the whole thing. Yeah, I'm using uh my phone again because like I said, if my in my one update video while it would go, I broke my camera. But either way, you guys can see I'm back. I'm back finally. Feels good to be back, man. Feels good. But either way, let's get down to business, shall we? What is wrong with this game? This game is not safe. This game is bad. I'm gonna go sell this game because this game is not okay. Okay? Listen to me. So, whew, I so like I said in the little skit, you know, you saw I my boy tweeted me and he said that GameStop was giving these out the day before at 9 p.m. Pre-orders, so so I called my GameStop. He said his game was in, so I called mine up. And I was like, yo, you do, you guys doing that? And they were like, yeah, 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 just pre-order it. You got to pre-order it. He said, you can come in and pre-order it right now. So it was like 6 p.m. So I drove there, pre-ordered it, came back home, went back at 9 p.m. to pick it up. So I played, I have logged like three, five hours into this game already. And it's dangerous. I'm telling you guys, this game is dangerous. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. Let me slow down. So. 
like I said in this game as well, right off the bat, the first thing you're gonna notice is the graphics. Every, I'm telling you, the beginning game, the first, the first 30 minutes to an hour is gonna be the same reaction for everybody. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna pop it in, it's gonna be a cinematic, you're gonna be like, wow, this looks amazing. You're gonna be like, this looks amazing. After that, you're gonna get to the Aloy part, and then you're gonna be like, you're gonna first see Aloy when she's a kid, and you're gonna be like, wow, why is her head so big? <laughs> Literally, it's gonna be a first. I'm telling you, this I watched it happen on a stream, someone else's stream, and I re re rewinded my stream and I saw the same, I said the same exact stuff. First, about the graphics, Aloy's big head, <laughs> and then from there, whenever you start a little bit of the action, you'll, you'll be like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then once the hunting and the fighting, and they give you your bow, and then once that starts, oh my god, oh my god. And you know the, the scary the reason why this game is dangerous is that the scariest thing about this game is the idea that I'm only like a couple hours in, okay? I haven't fought I haven't fought like something like this big thing yet, you know what I'm saying? Once that cause that battle, once that happens, good lord, you know what I'm saying? Like if these little these little watchers and and uh uh, all these other little uh, robot things that I'm fighting are these like small fry. But these small fry are this fun to fight. I cannot imagine when it gets crazier and bigger. Guerrilla Games has never made an open world game and they just made a flawless game. This is a 10 out of 10, no matter what you say. If you do not agree, this is at least a 9.5. I'm blocking you and removing you. You're banned. I'm, I don't want to associate myself with you because you're a bad influence in my life. So let's break it down. What the fuck? <laughs> This game's graphics, bro. This game's graphics, dude. It's not okay. This game's graphics is a is a reveal trailer, E3 reveal trailer from Ubisoft for any game they want. You know, it's like the Division. You know, I remember when they released or they showed the Division. That shit looked ridiculous, ridiculous. That's what this game looks like. One of those Ubisoft games. But the issue is, again, the issue is that this game, you know how Ubisoft, they start off with those good graphics and they, they dumb it down once the game comes out. The issue with this game is that nothing got dumbed down, my guy. Nothing got dumbed down. This game is so perfect. The graphics. The graphics. This game is a, you know, single player game. So obviously it's got to have a story, you know. So before it came out, I saw some things and it seemed as if people were trying to say that uh, the story wasn't that great, okay? Dog, I don't know about you, but I think I care more about the story than the gameplay. This game has a good story. I, you know what I mean? Like this game has a good story. That's that's just all it is, man. You know the whole the whole past of Aloy. It's so intriguing. You know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to figure out what's going on with her life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna spoil nothing. But I'm just letting you know. Like it's it's a good story, guys. It's a good story. Good, good. You know, and I have not played an American game honestly in in a minute. Honestly, like was the, the last. You know, maybe Dark Souls, but that's still kind of Japanese influenced too. So I have not played it like American for like a uh, uh, single player game in the longest time. And I like this story. I like this story. I like it. I like it. And of course, the most important step and thing next, whatever, in the, in a game, you know, is the gameplay. Didn't I just let you? I already told you what the gameplay is, alright? The gameplay is ridiculous. The hunting and the action, the boat, it's the boat. It's really, it's the boat because it, it cha it's challenging because you gotta aim for certain parts on the robots. Pow! And whenever you get it, you feel so good. You feel so good. And then the combat, it's fast paced. You're switching weapons, using all your weapons. I, I only have a couple weapons, you know? And even just using the bow, it's fun. So once you add in the little uh, slingshot, you add in the trip caster, the, I don't even know what the heck the rope this is ties people up but i don't really know how that works but regardless you know having all these weapons to your disposal to be switching back and forth to be able to you know fight these monsters and this is a flawless i'm just a man i want to play the game right now i'm just thinking about it right now i was just like picturing it in my, in my head and i want to play so bad that's why this game is dangerous because you will not want to put this down okay this game is flawless. If you if you're wondering about getting this game, I'm telling you right now, you have to get this game. Nobody in the world should not be able to play this game. This is the best game of 2017. I don't care about it. Zelda is the only thing that might come close. I've seen some stuff. It looks kind of cool too. Customization, armor customization, weapon upgrading, uh, uh, weapon upgrading, customize, uh, armor customization, modding, all that stuff. 
picking up materials on the ground. Dude, this game is so good. Get this game. Get this game. Get this game. But be careful. Because it's dangerous. Be careful. Because you might... You might, you know, fall out of civilization. There's so much I want to say for this game. Because I, I, I'm just thinking some stuff about the, I, There's so much I want to say. I'm done. All right, I'm done. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. You see, I'm waiting and they hating and I'm sipping on my tea. Bad bitch walking past. May I stop you? Please. And I'm hungry as a bitch, but this life ain't free ain't If I'm free. trying to get this money, I can't really shake a tree I'll be working, I'll be working, it's a quarter past three Damn. When I stop I want to play right now, why, why, how, how am I here, why am I here, how did I get here? Huh? Get this camera away from me, I'm going to play